Hello viewers and subscribers, welcome to our channel session buddy and in today's video I'm going to tell you about the new Windows 10 Redstone 4 build 17093. What's new in this build, we, we are going to check it right now, right here in this video. And if you had not subscribed our channel till then, you can you need to subscribe our channel first and also click the bell icon. So let's get started. So right now I am here at my desktop. You may be thinking that there is nothing new in this build as they have told you in the creators update also that you will get most of things but uh, there is nothing new in that also. And you may are thinking that right now we are making you fool but that's not true. Let me tell you one of the major specifications of this uh, Windows 10 Redstone 4 build number 17093. This is the task 3 option and now you can check what you have done later. Uh, you have done past in your laptop on your desktop that means out now you have not to uh, note it down what you have done past you have your days timeline so you can check that what you have done previously in your system so let's move on to the next specification which is the focus assist as the name suggests that means you right now you can turn on off the notification as per your priority or for your alarms only that means if I click on the priority only you I'm not gonna see any kind of notification till I turn it off so let me turn it off now because I have no use of that the next specification is the enhanced Bluetooth connectivity that means now you can connect to your Bluetooth devices very easily that you have not that you are not capable for the previous builds of Windows 10 so let's let's move to the settings this is the settings panel a much enhanced ui from the previous builds so let's move to the system and in the systems option in the display option you have a new feature or settings named advanced graphic options this setting will help you to select or to delete your apps as per your graphic performance or your requirements suppose you want to change some graphical requirements for an app then you need to select the priority of that or sorry preference of that you can choose from classic app or from universal app the universal apps are those apps that you will get from your microsoft store i want to change the settings for microsoft solitaire collection so i clicked on the universal app and then selected the solitaire connect collection click on add button you will get this app here click on the options and now you can select the graphic preference from these three options which is system default power saving high performance i am choosing the power saving that means my battery backup may be increased if i use this option and this option will help you to improve your cpu performance also so now and you also and you can also remove this if you don't want to apply any kind of settings on it for the gamer gaming lovers now you have the full screen optimization for your gaming and app performance experiences so now let's again move back to the settings and in the devices option you have another new feature the typing option <clears throat> you have this multilingual text prediction that means now you can choose more than three language prediction if you are writing in one language but this feature will only available to the touchscreen keyboards only that means if you are using a desktop or laptop you are not able to use this feature but if you have a windows tab or sorry microsoft tab then you can use this feature of multilingual text prediction now let's again move back to this one of the best feature of this latest build in, in the ease of access option is the eye control that means now you can you, now you can access your device with the help of your eyes but for that you need a eye tracking device that means if your device supports a eye tracking launch pad then you can use this eye control feature of windows 10 redstone 4 build number 17093 so this now let's move to the privacy option in the privacy option you can see that this is divided into two sections one is the windows permissions and the other is app permission in the windows permission you have the speech inking and typing in which you have a new feature named view user dictionary that means if you are using speech recognition then your windows and your and your operating system will can uh, maybe recognize 
your new words and it will add into it but you cannot individually add or remove words you need to clear dictionary as per your requirement now let's move on to the diagnostic and feedback option in this diagnostic and feedback option you can remove the previous diagnostic data that you cannot remove in your previous builds now let's move on to the apps permission in the apps permission options you have many features but the best one is the file system this is the file system option that means now you can restrict the apps to use your drives your hard disk drives and your one drive and this will help you to manage your disk drive very easily now let's go to the update and security option in this update and security option you have the two new options of account protection and the device security in the window security option the account secure the account protection option will help you to use your microsoft account for signing in and signing out and the device security option will help you to use the inbuilt device security okay so now let's close it this is the simple overview of all the settings of the new windows 10 redstone 4 build number 17093 now let's open the windows defender okay so this is the windows defender security center a new header with a new text security at glance a little bit enhancement in ui and in the virus and threat protection option you have one of the best options so far which is the ransomware protection the microsoft wants their users to be protected all the time that's why they are giving this feature to you of the ransomware protection Now let's go to the Internet Explorer, sorry, Microsoft Edge. Microsoft Edge has also been improved in terms of printing any kind of document. Suppose you want to print a document from Internet and you don't want any kind of advertisement in that. That's our website www.solutionway.com. You can visit us anytime from any place so suppose I want to print this so let me open the print option and you need to turn on the clutter free printing basically what this will do it will remove all the advertisement and before this build you need to turn on any kind of ad blockers and other third party software but if you use the windows 10 redstone 4 build number 17093 you don't need to use any kind of uh, third party software you can use this clutter free printing options of the microsoft edge so this is the overall simple overview of windows 10 redstone 4 build 17093 you can download it from the description link that we are providing you and on on a score of 10 i want to give it 7 because there are some bugs that Microsoft has definitely going to be work on it. If you liked our video, please share this video with your peers and friends and family and thanks for watching.